Well, we've arrived at uh, Rutland Water and uh, we're not in Herb today. We're in this monster. And uh, I'll give you a tour once we've had a coffee and a sausage roll at Manton near the church, the Riverside Calf, Waterside Calf. It's still pretty low though, isn't it, when you realise when you're at this end. Feeble wave. <coughs> oh, that always makes a good view, doesn't it? Yeah. Going around the end. Yeah. Nice to see the swans and the cygnets. It's funny the water used to come up to this post and it's right down, isn't it? Yeah. with the weather again. We've had nothing but rain and rain and rain and rain and rain. Okay, we're at Rutland Water. Just had a quick walk round. A well, five mile walk to the calf and back. And uh, I thought I'd like to show you the van I've purchased. It's a Mazda Bongo. Um, 2.5 litre diesel automatic it's got a lot of uh, extra features it's I think they're 18 inch wheels with discs all round air conditioning or I don't know what else you call it because it's it's not just air conditioning it it can heat and cool the van it's been converted to a, a motorhome sort of thing or camper van sleeps four it's got a uh, pop top which is electric all the blinds in the van are electric it's got uh, wi-fi and dab radio uh, what else has it got uh, the mirrors uh, automatically fold in and uh, i think it's got a light sensor which can turn the lights on as it gets dark so it's quite um, unique, I think, for us to have a modern vehicle like this. Uh, it's turbocharged as well. I'll show you the wheels, because people are always interested in wheels. And they're ventilated discs. And ventilated discs front and rear. It's got electric hookup. Uh, tinted windows, 
tow ball so we're going to get a eventually get a um, what's the word uh, bike rack for it These aerials here in the back, I believe, for the original Japanese television system. There's an aerial there, and there's another aerial here. Um, climate control, I think they call it, more than air conditioning. It has a fridge. How's it going? separate heating controls for the rear of the van there's vents here uh, the pop top is electric <laughs> rock and roll bed what are the calls? perching seats or whatever dicky seats so the, these seats can go forward and this goes down so you can sort of perch on them. The table we've put behind this at the moment. The engine is not under the bonnet. It's a mid-engine vehicle. So the engine is here underneath this. Uh, what else has it got? A uh, fridge. What else? Fridge. <laughs> Two burner hob. And sink. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Tap. It's got fresh water tank, but no wastewater tank. It's got an electric hookup. And this is the controls for the rear heater. Fridge is hidden in here. Uh, cutlery drawer, table goes on here, storage under the beds, cupboard, cupboard. Yeah. there's another one, two of these, two of these up top, uh, there's two at the back, there's a gas bottle, uh, controls for the fridge, hook up, there's actually more cupboards down here where the water tanks are. There's cigarette lighter uh, units all over the place. There's under work surface lights. And what else? Uh, there's lighting in the back. Uh, seat belts. What, what do I call this material? It's not leather. Is it faux leather or whatever they call it? Speaker, rear speakers. It's bald already. Yeah. It's um, piezo ignition on the gas rings. There's two gas rings. One's bigger than the other because this one you could put a little coffee pot on. Oh gosh. Storage. We're still trying to get used to some of the controls because some buttons and switches in different places we don't really know what they do it's got soft close on the door I'll show you that that's it it's closed spare tyres underneath the back this is where the tools are the jack and um, we're thinking of uh, for the future if we get on the right of the van having a diesel heater fitted in it and the outlet would be here and the, heat, the uh, heater unit will actually be inside the engine compartment I'll show you around the back Right, this back up storage under the bed fire extinguisher going to get a fire blanket to go in here gas bottle 
is in there, it's only a little bottle. And it's a full berth, two up top, two down, and there's absolutely stacks of storage. It came with an awning, but I don't think it's something we're going to bother with. Uh, a driveway awning. And what else can I tell you? What else can we say, dear? Are you alright in there? Yeah. So that's the tour of the Mazda Bongo. Tow bar. Is there room for me? Yeah, that's room. Okay. I won't get a cup holder. Uh, oh yeah, there's cup holders. There's four <laughs> cup holders. <laughs> not here. Uh, I can actually, it's tinted windows, but I can put all the blinds down. There's a wasp. Get away. I can put all the blinds down from the drivers, from the dashboard. It's spooky, isn't it, when I go down? <laughs> Blimey, this is a... Chocolate biscuit. Uh, I don't mind what I have. Well, I don't want it. Okay, are you having the, the other bits? Oh, the Otis. Yeah, the Otis. Yeah. That's your tea then. Tea? Yeah. Not coffee. No. Tea. Yeah, that'll do. One of the issues is with uh, owning a Japanese vehicle, the instruction books are in Japanese, <laughs> and a lot of the signage in the van against the controls is in Japanese, isn't it? Double Dutch. <laughs> Double Dutch. Mm. I think we're going to get a bit of a carpet in here that can wash. And uh, that's some of the signage there. Oh, you can see that. You haven't got a clue what it's referring to. How's the, how's the battery voltage doing? Still up in the green. Yeah. And the fridge is on. It's a Dometic fridge, and this is. Dometic as well. Mm -hmm. It's got a few dents in here, don't we notice yeah. where things been dropped on it. Yeah. But you expect it's here to use, not to look at. There's probably loads of things I forgot to talk about. <laughs> but one of my upgrades is down here, where it's showing up. That reads the engine temperature. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, which is th currently 36 degrees. This little light here um, is actually connected directly to the glow plugs. So when that's on, I know the glow plugs have actually got power to them. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.